Today's episode is brought to you by Finbyte Insights. So this Finbyte Insight is started by Elvin, and that's me. And each day, I will articulate my thoughts about the financial markets. Just by reading it in less than 3 minutes, you will be able to get a very good understanding about what's going on, what's the most important thing that you need to know about the financial markets for that day, and how do you interpret it so that you can make better investment decisions out of it. So do remember to go to finbyteinsights.substack.com and you can subscribe it for free and start enjoying the daily insights that I'll deliver it to your inbox. Hi there, this is Elvin from Dr. Wealth. So the hottest stock right now is going to be NVIDIA. It is the best performing stock in the NASDAQ index as well as the S&P 500. So it has more than doubled this year. And the surprising thing is that after the quarterly results yesterday, the share price went up another 25% during aftermarket hours. So it is quite amazing in that sense because it is now the sixth largest company in the world and that is based on the market cap before that 25% increase. So when the market opens later, you will see that the Nvidia market cap will be nearing that $1 trillion. So it might even be entering that trillion dollar club together with Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, the big tech companies, if the share price rise further. Currently, it's already bigger in terms of market cap than Berkshire Hathaway, Meta Platform, Tesla, TSMC, Visa, LVMH, ExxonMobil. It's very gigantic organization and Nvidia just surpassed all of them. So you can see that the relative rise of Nvidia has been nothing but spectacular. But if you look at its revenue, it's actually ranked 432nd in the world. And that means that the market value versus its ability to generate revenue has a very stark difference. And that caused the PS ratio or the price to sales ratio to be very high at 35 times. So that suggests some overvaluation over that. And likewise for earnings, it's ranked 355th in the world and a P ratio of 216 times. So you can see there is a lot of all this optimism baked into Nvidia. But of course, some investors will argue that this metrics, this kind of price multiples may not be the best way to value Nvidia because it's undergoing a very huge technological shift and that will benefit Nvidia a lot. So the share price can still go up even though it looks very overvalued from these price multiples. And what is the technological shift we're talking about? It is the artificial intelligence or AI in short. So that is the hot topic today. After ChatGPT stormed into the scene and it has been thought of the town ever since. So what has NVIDIA got to do with this AI thing, right? Because the hardware to process the very demanding AI applications is going to be on NVIDIA's graphics processing units or GPU in short. So these GPUs are like your graphics card in your computer that power your videos, your games, your image processing applications. But it can also be used for AI because of its parallel computing ability. So you can have many graphics card in one server in a computer, but you can only have one central processing unit. So you can see that that is why uh, this graphics processing unit can be very scalable and to meet the AI computing demands. So if AI is the goal, right? Nvidia is selling shovels to the gold diggers or the gold miners. So the gold miners can be like Microsoft, uh, ChatGPT or Alphabet where they need this hardware in order to do their AI deep learning processes or the application that's going to come with it. So that is why Nvidia is a very hot stock at the moment. Next, let's look at their latest quarterly results, right? Let me blow this up for you. You can see that the revenue has been broken down in segments like data center, gaming, professional visualization, so on and so forth. And the total revenue, uh, which is at the bottom line, you can see that it has dropped 13% from a year ago, okay, for its latest first quarter results in FY24. And the only one that went up were data center as well as auto, right? But auto is not a very big segment to talk about. It's just $296 million. So the focus here is actually on the data center, which is the biggest segment driving the revenue for Nvidia and it's up 14% as compared to the rest, like gaming is down 38%. So the bulk of the AI products are actually in the data center segment. So that is where uh, investors are focusing on, right? Even though NVIDIA has been down 13%, but there is growth in the data center demand. And in fact, 
14% is not very impressive, right? It doesn't really justify why the share price should go up 25%. So what's going on here? So the key is actually the projection or the guidance given by the CFO of NVIDIA. And CFO was saying that the next quarter's revenue is projected to be $11 billion, okay, the total revenue for NVIDIA. And that means that that is going to be a 64% increase year on year or a 53% increase from the last quarter. So this is a very significant jump. So which means that really the demand for the GPUs are skyrocketing. And the AI hype has actually translated to NVIDIA's tangible revenue growth. So you can understand why the investors and traders are getting excited about this stock because a very accelerated growth is going to come in the next quarter and probably even after. And this is the stock chart for NVIDIA and based on the 25% gain during the off market hours, when the market opened today and it indeed jumped 25%, it will surpass the previous high of about $346 and it will end up at $380. Okay, so that is going to be a very dramatic, huge price gap that we might see when the market opens later. So of course, you want to know, right, whether this is a high or that is real AI revolution that's going on that will change the world dramatically. So my assessment is that, unfortunately, they are both, okay? So first of all, we do see that potential of AI application. Even myself have been using a lot of ChatGPT and I can see how helpful and useful it has been. And that goes beyond just the tech space, right? We also have the uh, image generator. Uh, some even won like the digital art competition. And there's also recently the in the music space, right, where they train the AI. You can sing like Drake and Stephanie Sun. So that caused quite a stir uh, out there that is that still art when it's created by AI? And I do see that it can indeed improve a lot of our works uh, for a long time to come. And as we speak, AI technology is still improving and I think they will play a bigger role uh, in the future. That is the real part, right? But I also think that a lot of the uh, stocks that's related to AI has gone way above their fundamentals. <laughs> that includes NVIDIA. So there is a layer of hype that has pushed up the share price. And unfortunately, when this hype goes away, the share price will collapse because you will adjust to the long-term fundamental value of these stocks. So NVIDIA right now, it has both of this element, which makes it difficult for investors to decide what to do, right? So I'll give you an analogy. NVIDIA now is like a runaway train, okay? So the very first thing that we must know when in this situation is not to stand in front of a runaway train because you will get hit very badly. And that also means that we should not short NVIDIA, okay? Because some investors or traders will think that, oh, NVIDIA is so overvalued and it should come down and you should just short and you can make a lot of money. That is you get the top correct which is not easy. As John Maynard Keynes said, the market will remain irrational longer than you can stay solvent. Okay, so which means that if you take a short position, it might jump another 10%, 20%, 30%, even 100%. Nobody knows how high it can go and that can potentially cause you to lose a lot of money. You might be right eventually, right? But you might not stay long enough to see that day when you're right. So I would think that using a short position at this point in time against NVIDIA is really standing in between the runaway train and its destination. So if you still want to somehow involve in the stock itself, I would say that go on the long side, right? Use a trend following or momentum strategy. Uh, it's a safer option. But that said, you must have risk management strategy to help you exit, right? Because if you jump on the runaway train, you want to jump off before it crashes because eventually it will crash. It will come to a stop. So when is that? Nobody knows, right? So it is important that you have some plan that allow you to exit. Maybe a stop loss limit, maybe a target profit that if you make enough, you'll run away. So things like this must be in your plan before you even get onto a runaway train. And of course, there's a last option. That means don't get enticed, don't feel FOMO about this kind of uh, stocks that have done very well, right? We can't catch every single opportunity uh, all the time. So it is okay to sit on the sideline and see what happens and how it develops next. Having that bit of detachment may help you, right? To have a more clear-headed and rational response to these events. And for those who have a position in NVIDIA already, congrats to you. So just enjoy the ride and taking some profit may not be a bad decision. So I hope you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.